go see africa so today i want us to discuss about that unique experience you get when you land in the coastal city of mombasa so the first impression was that city clock in mwembe tayari so you mean these people are so slow to the extent that you have to have a watch there to be reminded that it's time for you to achieve, to change to a given activity it's time for you to go for lunch it's time for you to go and worship yeah it's time for you to go and board the vehicle it's that unique We continue. I already left Mombasa, so I am at the village. Now, my second impression in Mombasa was the graffiti and the kind of music we have in our vehicles. Whenever I say vehicle, I mean the matatu, matuana. Yeah, the 14 seater vehicle. A public vehicle. Yeah, was experience this? The matatu culture, I mean. It's a good experience. I mean, someone can just leave their country, yeah, leaving another continent, leaving even your own county in, 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 in Kenya to go and board those matatus in Mombasa. <laughs> So, the third experience was the lighting system, the gothic lighting system. But there we have the best lighting system in Mombasa. Every, everywhere you go, there's lighting. Yeah, in the entire city. So you don't expect to be mugged in the, in the center of the city. Yeah, but then in Mombasa we don't have mugging. I haven't experienced mugging. Fourth experience in Mombasa, huh? all buildings are painted blue and white, just like Santorin in Greece. Have you ever gone there? Have you ever experienced this? I think you should go taking notes, have a biro, go counting everything, whatever I say. The people of Mombasa are so welcoming. Someone will just leave the activity to take you wherever you're going. Yeah, I remember there is a time I was looking for the matatus, not the matatus, the vehicles from Mombasa CBD somewhere in Mamangina to the SGR in Meritini. Then someone left their activities to go and take me to where the matatus were. I see. I think I should look for that guy and give him something whenever I'm going back there, cause that's not usual. That can never happen in Nairobi. Everyone in Nairobi minds their own business. Boss, is in Magere. There is Jaran does not come up. Ah, na taka yoka tia taka na end. Experience, 
very unique one. In Nairobi or in another city, don't just go filming anywhere, filming anyone just the way you want. Yeah? But in Mombasa, you'll just film someone. For example, whenever I lighted in Mwembe Tayari, I was filming at some in the streets. Then those touts were coming at me requesting um, if I could board the vehicle from the maybe from the CBD, the Central Business District, to another place here they are going to. For example, some could come shouting at me, "Oh, Mishomoroni, Mishomoroni, Mishomoroni." Oh, but I'm filming it. Them, they are not even scared. They are not even concerned about my camera. That's your own business. Yeah, I really like this life. what we are not done we had this one experience you will never get it in another city in kenya not even in kenya in east africa you will never get this i really liked how whenever i get to the kenya ferry yeah the ferry were busy move picking passengers and uh, maybe picking passengers goods vehicles and back yeah, to and from. Then all of a sudden, the ship was approaching a very big one. Yeah, and the kind of communication these guys have, it's excellent. Yeah, so everything stopped until that ship was gone. So then immediately the ship I had already docked that the time. Now the ferry started moving. Yeah, I like the kind of communication they have. Despite the fact that I usually get arrested all the time, but they, why don't you allow our content creators to record their stuff without any interference? But the end time I'm alighting from the ferry, I usually get someone waiting for me at the other end for me to get arrested. Those, uh, so they have always tried to delete my items. Yeah, though I do sometimes explain myself and someone else understands. But suppose you got someone who is not in a position to explain themselves. You know, we have that someone who does their content. They just talk. Or they just um, record, their, record their stuff. Yeah, and they move, but they don't talk. They, that's one person who doesn't know how to talk a lot. Just like me, talking a lot like a madman. Yeah. I think we should consider this or else we can have some documentation or some license content creators can acquire so that whenever you going from one place to the other no one will ever question whatever you are doing <laughs> We 
can never ignore this. The uniqueness of our beaches having that very white sand and blue crisp, clear crystal waters. Yeah, it's only in our beaches whereby you will go swim comfortably. You know, uh, the beaches are clean despite the water, obvious, um, being so salty. Of which we don't care about the saltiness. We know, you know that's how you know, the, the beaches can be so safe to swim. You know, whenever you're swimming at the salt, there is no bacteria which can withstand the level of saltiness we have in our, yeah, in that water. I will not have done enough justice to the beach if I don't talk about the beach psychology. Yeah, whenever people get to the beach, whenever people start swimming, they always crowd at the same circumference. Why is it that? Yeah, I might not be knowing you. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to have met you before. For me to be able to swim with you so i just need to go there oh and approach some lady then now uh, well can we go swimming and they'll be free swimming with me that's the beach psychology i guess does that have only happen in kenya there is no witchcraft in that it's a beach psychology that's how we have the cooler butter vibe but you hold the time from the beach to the destination you're going to, you know, whenever you're from the swimming, that party mood is always activated, yeah? Then you're picked up by psyched up people, yeah? The music, it's on another level, yeah? From the, the car you're using, whether it's a car, whether it's a tuk-tuk, it's a matatu, everything there is good, man. You love it. Let's talk about the Likoni Channel, whereby we have the ferry crossing. That place is entirely free. Yeah, water transport in Mombasa is free. You don't pay. You don't pay for any penny. Not unless you have a vehicle, you have to give something little like one dollar. That's enough. <laughs> Anytime people are boarding the ferry, I was running. I don't know what they are always competing for. The ferry always has seats. Yeah, it always remains empty. But they are always running. Whenever they are letting from the ferry, they are always running. kindly request you to like this vlog, leave a comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. My name is Go. See Africa. Goodbye.